Man, I'm pumped and excited today. I'm standing out by the chicken coop and you know what that means. We're gonna take a look at that little circular hive that you guys told me to put in there to see if it would survive the winter. Time to get it out. Time to open it up, see what's going on. Let's take a look. Now guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining me. But last year I bought this circular, little tiny circular hive off of Amazon just for fun. And I wanted to see you know, how it felt, if bees could survive in there. And toward the end of winter last year, you got, I asked you guys, what do you, or I guess it was fall. I said, how do you want me to overwinter these? I can't leave them out on the ground. Do I put them in a shed? Do I put them in my chicken coop? Doesn't have any chickens in there. You guys all voted to put them in here and they survived. I'm gonna ask you guys for more advice in the future. You guys rock, woo! <laughs> well, it's gonna be a little bit of an issue because they're used to going in and out of the front door, but we're not gonna leave them in the chicken coop. It's not convenient for me to work them in there. I'm gonna take it out and set it by the front door, but we're gonna to have to figure out how to help them realize not to go in the chicken coop anymore. Fingers crossed that we can do that. Let's get to work. I don't have chickens in here anymore. The coyote tax is way too high. All right. I see them over there in the corner. Well, let's check it out. All right, well, there they are. I remember putting them in there last fall. All right, let's move this brick. There we go. Probably should have put a hat and a veil on. How did it get heavier? Oh boy. It's a lot heavier than I remembered. What if what if we put it like right here? <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to block the entrance of the chicken coop with this board. All right, now, what if I move this closer, like right here? Will they figure it out? So that I can inspect it, I'm gonna have to at least move it right here. I can't believe they appear to be very strong. All natural, no treatment. I didn't uh, take any honey off of it. I didn't really want to. I didn't have any way to treat for mites. Um, I didn't really have any way to really uh, inspect it or get after the beetles or anything. So it was kind of an experimental project that has surprised me that they have survived well. So let's open this up, do a little smoking and see what it is. Now, I want those of you that are watching this to hear me say, I did this just for an experiment. I saw it available on Amazon. And so I thought, you know what? Some people might buy this and try it. I'd like to buy it and see what they had to put up with. And it hasn't gone well for me. I feel like there's a lot of stray comb everywhere. The frames are very difficult to move around. The frames stick to the lid when you open them. Everything gets kind of torn up and destroyed. Now, before I open up the circle of hive, click on the like button. Please subscribe, I appreciate it so much. So I tried to put some extra burlap as you see here. Oh, there's some roaches. Wood roaches, not cockroaches, wood roaches. Oh, I've, I've figured out if you put these handles like this, the, the lid stays there. There's a small hay beetle that will kill. I thought it would be just flowing with small hay beetle, but I don't really see a lot of small hay beetle. So anyway, I put the burlap here to keep my top of the frames from being welded to the top of the hive here. So we'll have to kind of pull this burlap up and see what the bees look like underneath. Are there a lot of bees? Are there just a few bees? What's going on in here? So this is like a burlap inner cover. <laughs> I don't know. 
I have no idea. Don't do what I do here. There's probably somebody that runs these and they're like, he's an idiot. He's not even doing it right. I'm sure that's the, tr that's the case. I just started doing it for fun and it turned into something. Have you ever done that? You start doing something and all at once it turns into something. It's like, oh shoot, I didn't think it turned into this. I'm trying to get this burlap off. Got a lot of beetles on that burlap. Beetles overwinter well in these circular hives too. Beetles are running everywhere. I don't like that because they'll multiply and get into my other hives. There's a beetle on my hand, look at that. A beetle on my watch. Kill it, David, quit looking at him. There's a lot of humming going on. Some people would call that a queenless hum. Oh, some of those beetles froze, that's cool. Froze during the winter. Look at this frame. And I don't see any eggs or larvae. Oh, wait a minute, no, I don't. And that buzzing loud like that is what some people would say could indicate queenlessness. I don't know. Let's just set that here temporarily. I don't see a queen, I don't see any brood or larvae, pupae, nothing like that. Now let's look on this side. I see some pollen being brought in. Brought in. Alright, let's just keep this out here for a minute too to give us a little more room to play in there. Bees are all over my hands. Alright. This little frame here. It's hard to get out. It's tight. All right, there we go. I was hoping I'd see some brood. Still no brood on that frame. A lot of nectar though. Not seeing the queen. Uh, this frame has just got some pollen and nectar in it. And keep it out too. Well, there's a lot of bees spraying the Nasanoff pheromone though from their Nasanoff gland. That's usually an indication they're telling everybody where either the hive is or the, hopefully where the queen is. Okay, I don't want these frames to fall out of these little circles. No brood, just resources. Wow, the circle hive made it through winter nicely. A lot of bees in there. I'm concerned I don't see any brood though. I see a lot of pollen. Look at the different color pollen on this frame. Some extra comb built along the side of another piece of comb. There, oh, here we go. We got brood, capped over brood. Look at that. Look out bees. Yeah, capped over brood. Wow, a circle hive. I may change my opinion of what I think about a circle hive. <laughs> I may think, you know, they're not bad. They survive winter. That's a drone, that's a drone cell. A lot of people see that and think it's a queen cell, but it's capped over and it's just extended outward. Here's a piece of frame, a comb that just fell down. Look at that. Piece of stray comb. I probably need to just get rid of that. It's not going to fit back in there anywhere. Shake the bees off. All right. Pick that up later. Let's look at another frame. They're coexisting with beetles. I'm going to find a way this year to put a beetle trap in there and trap them. I got a few ideas I need to implement, get some beetles under control. If they're gonna if they're gonna survive like this, let's uh let's knock down some beetles this year. Some extra comb. 
Let's see how attached it is. We might remove that now, make it easier for us in the future. Okay. Oh, good. It's just attached at the top. All right, got the bees off. Look at all that beautiful pollen in there. That had to be from last year, doesn't it? And so there's some larvae in there, too. Wow, here's a comb that does not have... They built it right next to this other comb. You know, so in this case, when they build a, a piece of comb right here without a wood frame on it, there's no way I'm going to play with that. So that's the bad thing about these sorts of uh, frames that uh, you really have to stay after them. Um, I could tear that out, I guess, but look at all this honey in the back that's cross-built. I can't remove those very easily. Well, that's pretty cool, though, that they survived pollen of different colors, and we have a lot of brood in there. So let's put them back together and let them get orientated to their new position. It's fun to work with different hives. This year I'm going to be working with a apame hive, a horizontal hive, a flow hive. I've got a whole bunch of different things I'm going to be doing this year just for you guys so you can decide if all of these different hives are worth doing or not. And uh, boy, this little baby made it through the winter. Guys, hats off to you for recommending chicken coop. I may have to put more bees, more hives in the chicken coop over winter, but all my hives made it through winter out in the open, so who knows. Now, if you're trying to keep your hive from swarming, I have a great method. It's called the Demeray method, and look at this video right here. You can keep your hive together, make more honey without it swarming. I'll see you over there.